Herter and Duarte combined tonight to play 27 minutes, just under 28 minutes. Two points. 0 for 8 shooting. Mm. 0 for 5 from 3 with 3 turnovers. 7 rebounds for Herter, though. I did notice Herter tonight was competing much more defensively. The uh-huh. one play I remember, he had a nice defensive play. Uh, there was just so, I felt so bad for him a couple of times. He had a nice defensive play, and then he came down and took a transition three that Malik Monk, I think, wanted to kill him. Because Ma- Malik Monk's wide open, like jumping up and down, and Herter I got the is just hand. launching like... He felt he, like he, he needed it. He wanted that yeah, so... I, I know. I th- he needed that. And then he had another play where he had the steal, and he was taking it to the rack, and you think, oh, I got an easy jam. And he got absolutely rejected by Queen. And it was great defense. It was great defense. Great defense. Like, there's nothing he could have done, except I think there was a player trailing him, a teammate. It might have been Malik. But um, there was someone trailing him that he could have dished it off to. But I don't blame him for being like, no, I got this. Yeah, there were some frustrating moments. But, you know, those seven rebounds alone, it's I saw him competing. Yeah, in- he's just in such an offensive rut right now mm-hmm. it is uh, we've talked about a lot i'm just stunned i'm stunned that the drop off has been like this because it's not like he's 32 and it's like oh maybe he's he's done now you know oh his game's fading it's like this guy's in the prime of his career he's shown he could be a good three point shooter he's shown he could be a good playmaker like i've i've seen it not just last year but in his career and I feel like he's got very little confidence right now. And it's it's a tough game. You know, we talk about the mental side. So we don't actually talk about the mental side enough. I mean, I think we do, yeah. us. But the mental side of sports, dude, it's a challenge. I, when you're struggling, you got to find a way to get out of it. And what can you do? You need help from your teammates. You need help from your coaches. And the one area I've been a little critical with Mike Brown this year is it's just been, you know, he... I feel like he's been a little more rigid this year. Mm-hmm. And I think he is feeling the pressure of like wanting to take this team to the next level where some of his, he's much more quick to ho- take a guy out yep. and put him on the bench. Like almost like playoff level type things mm-hmm. where in the playoffs you go, Hey, we got to, it's got to be we gotta tight. The, we got to tighten the rotation. <laughs> if mistakes are, we're, we're trying to win these games. Right. And, <sighs> this happened the regular season. So a guy like Herter, who like, I think his confidence is shook. I think his confidence maybe got shook during training camp when it was mentioned that Duarte could yeah. potentially start. Yep. And then he started the preseason game. And it's, that's a challenge. You know, and Joseph says, guys, it's more than a rut. He hasn't been good for any length of time since last March. And I mean, th- there's, there's truth to that, but at the same time, there have, there has been more moments for him. And if you look at his entire career, I was talking to Deuce a little bit about this. I said, there was times in Atlanta where things were down and they're down for too many games. And I don't know as a play, especially because we look at track record and we look at how he has gotten out of these ruts and how when the Kings traded for him, it was like, steal, baby, steal. And then he proved to be there was truth to that as well that's where I just go it's still there I'm not I'm not one to just be like no nah, this is who he is so I was just looking at the definition of rut too because I, I I didn't know rut had like a time frame a rut I think that's an appropriate description of it he's in a major rut right now yeah Oh, because he was saying it's not a rut. No, it's, I mean, it's, it's a rut. He's, whatever you want to call I it. I love that you looked up the definition just to be like, Son no, I'm bitch. pretty sure rut is the, yeah. And and I think, too, sometimes you say we don't talk about the mental side of things and how that can affect people. It's um, It affects more than others. Uh, when De'Aaron Fox the other night, after the Hornets lost, was like, Hey, my mentality is when I leave this arena, it's on to the next. And although it sounds easy to get there, it's not. It's not. And if you're someone that will just be like, you just got to figure it out. You just got to figure out. I've said that at times. I've definitely have said that. Like, hey, you just got to figure it out and understand the personnel of your coaching staff. Like, if they're giving you a short leash, then you got to figure it out. 
It doesn't make it any easier. And there's people who won't be able to figure it out or that style of communication or expectations yeah. just won't work with certain players and people in um, sports and in other jobs. I've said it before. I'm big on track record. He's had a track record of being a really good three point shooter in this league and a good player. He's not playing it like like it right yeah. now. And I'm I still believe he can turn it around and whether it's here or somewhere else. You know, a great example that I think someone mentioned in the chat, they brought up this name, and I was thinking about this the other night. Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson is having an amazing career resurgence this year. This is a guy that Came out of nowhere. Remember, he's like a D3 guy. Goes to Michigan. Then he goes to the G League. Gets an opportunity. Finally gets picked up in Miami. They give him a big deal. And after he gets his contract, oh I believe it was like God. five years, $90 million, It just wasn't the same. They're attacking him defensively. He's not making his shots. His confidence is yeah, down. Yeah, it was bad. Like, what happened to that guy who like came here? Sharp shooter. And then late last year, he started to get more opportunity, mm -hmm. right? right? Now this year. Because Hero is hurt. Right. And so he got the opportunity with Hero out. They go to him a little bit. And you, you saw the flashes of, that's the guy that yep. earned the contract. That's the guy that fought for an NBA deal and got there. And now this year, he's more efficient than ever. He's career highs across the board. And so, you know, I, I think sometimes we're so quick to bury guys. Oh, when, and, and it's like, dude, this is not... It's fine if this if that's how you want to run your fantasy basketball team. You're like, hey, Kevin Hur is not cutting it for me. I'm cutting him, not playing him. But that's not how you should run an NBA team. You got to find ways to get him going. And my mission, if I'm with the, within the Kings, is what can I do to get this guy's confidence back up and get the most out of him because he is a better player than how he is playing right now. I know, Malik Monk needs to sell him a jar of confidence. Uh, that's one that's million dollars that's expensive <laughs> it's true that i mean not that obviously literally but it's it's true like how can he work on finding that confidence i don't i don't know i haven't even found how how to find that type of confidence not playing professional basketball i could tell you so of mine oh I'm very similar to I'll Malik Monk. Like $5, no. They, they do call me the Malik Monk of podcasters. No, you call yourself the Malik Monk of podcasters. The chat, I, I read like four of them just a few minutes ago. You're, still, you're just like Malik Deuce. Just wait, they're coming in. You probably have to scroll up. There's just so many. I'd pay, you, I'd pay $5 <laughs> for a jar of Deuce Confidence. Because I feel like it would, it would just be like a quick whiff. Like you smell it and you're like confident for five minutes. What, but the, here's the only problem though. What? If sometimes I need my confidence filled back up, I need a little affirmation, you know? But when oh I, when my I, God. When yes. I get a little touch of affirmation. No, but Deuce <laughs> begs for <laughs> affirmations and like, he just wants to be validated. Yeah, see, Drunk on LaCroix, we all call Deuce that. 